Question 3 from the 2007 Mechanics M1 paper. So we've got a moments question here. We've got uniform rod as pictured, and length 1.5, blah blah blah. So let's start adding some uh, elements to our diagram. Now it's a uniform rod, so exactly in the middle we've got uh, the weight acting down, which in this case is 8G. We've got uh, weight of B acting straight down at B, a particle which is MG. We've got it resting on support here, so there must be the beam will be experiencing a reaction force acting vertically upwards here. And I suppose the only other element we could add in is that the distance from here to here is 0.15 meters. As this is 0.75, it's exactly in the center. Okay, with these kind of questions, what I would do straight away, whether you need it or not, just in case, is I would just do a straight resolution. I've not even read what it asks us to do yet. Up and down, so I know that R acting up and down must be equal to 8G plus MG. I'm going to just label this equation 1. Sometimes we need that, sometimes it's a common thing to forget. So if you write it down straight at the beginning, um, because sometimes we get caught up just taking moments and forget a straight resolution. Okay, we now we need to show that m is equal to 2. So ideally we don't want to use that m is equal to 2. We want to uh, get an answer for m equals 2. So this is an unknown here. So if we take a resolution around this point, it's going to, going to negate. This r is not going to create a moment around c because the distance is 0. And remember that moment is the force multiplied by the perpendicular distance. So if that distance is zero, the moment will be zero. So let's take moments. Let's take moments resolving around C. And as it's in equilibrium, we know the total moment in the clockwise direction is going to be equal to the total moment in the anti-clockwise direction. So in the clockwise direction, we've got this distance here which is 0.6 meters. So we've got uh, 0.6 multiplied by the force, which is mg, must be equal to 0.15, that distance, multiplied by a g acting on the other direction. So we can see straight away that they're the only forces that are acting. We can cancel g's out. Uh, we've got 0.6 m is equal to 0.15 times by 8 is 1.2 and therefore we've shown straight away that m must be 2 kilograms. Now just a point we didn't need this equation 1 in this but in some questions you do need to then if you get a uh, second unknown in here you could then have substituted a value for r into this equation that helped you solve it. Let's see what happens on part b. Part b it says particle of mass 5g is now okay so we have let's put our forces on again um, we've got our 2g acting vertically down here we have a reaction force acting up here and we now have a mass of or a weight of 5g acting over here. Now ah okay and we also have in the dead center the 1.5 we still have the weight of 8g here. What's happened is that this point here is no longer C, this is D because this is now moved. So if we re 
we arrange this in a circle, this distance x, we now know, don't know that this uh, pivot is 0.9 meters away, it's an unknown distance away from A, and that's what we're trying to find. We know there's a reaction force there, but we don't know uh, what it is. So we're just going to use this diagram here and this unknown distance, and hopefully we'll find out whether it's to the left of the uh, center of mass, the HG, or whether it's going to be to the right somewhere. That's what we're hoping to find out. So again, straight resolution up and down, we might need it in this case. Uh, we know that R is equal to the sum of the total acting up is equal to the sum of the total acting down, which is 15G. So let's label that equation number 2. Now, we want to find out this distance here. So I suggest we take moments about A, because that's going to give us this moment R, this the R is acting away, so the distance x away is we're going to have an equation involving that in, which is going to help us. So if we take moment resolving around A, as before, it's in equilibrium, no overall turning force. So the total anti the total clockwise moment is equal to the total anti-clockwise moment. So let's work out what's acting from point A this time. We've got the weight of the rod, which is 0.75 multiplied by 8g. We've also got the particle at B, which is 2g, which is now acting at whole 1.5 meters away. So 1.5 times 2g is equal to the total acting in the anti-clockwise uh, sense, which is this force R, and that's acting at a distance x away. So, R multiplied by x. Now we know what R is from here, so we can substitute in and calculate this. So we're going to get 6g from there, we're going to get 3g from here, and we're going to get 15g times x here. Again, calculate g, acceleration is gravity, let's get, we get 6, 9 over 15 is equal to x, or x is equal to 0.6 meters. So actually this distance here, the diagram is incorrect, doesn't matter, this pivot point is actually to the left of here, the point d is actually somewhere here, and this distance away from a is actually 0.6 meters, which is less than half the rod. But it doesn't matter, it's just we just use the diagram for convenience. Okay, not forgetting our units.